Hey, so I've got a really fun thing for you today. Uh, we have this... Oh, it's already started. No, stop. <laughs> so, um, I have been playing around with uh, the BBC Microbit. I discovered that today, well, this month, is 10 years of Portal, the game with the companion cube that made us weep and smile and throw our friends in the incinerator and stuff. Uh, you've probably heard of this game, and if you haven't, go play it. It's a classic. It's officially a classic. It's 10 years old. So, um, a while back I 3D printed this companion cube out of glow-in-the-dark PLA. Yes, it exists. And, uh, it was a planter for a little plant that has since died, so it's very appropriate for Halloween because it's glow-in-the-dark and it's also a ghost plant. We've turned it into... Also, I killed it, and you... Anyway, I'm not gonna spoil the game anymore. <laughs> so... Um, I'm using the BBC Microbit uh, according to a tutorial by Sam El Husseini. Let's check. Yeah, Sam El Husseini created this amazing project using a couple of microbits to control Spotify. And I was like, well, what better? Uh, you know, playing music together is a great way that I bond with my friends. And uh, yeah, so this seems like the perfect project for this Halloween. Also, Sam just published this project and he's using it to control a Halloween playlist. It's like triple relevance. Anyway, so uh, I went through and created this project uh, built according to his specifications. It uses uh, an integration between BBC's um, the Microsoft Make Code Editor, which we'll look at. Uh, here's the project itself. Uh, on Hackster. I've put a link above this video. Yeah, it's a, a, basically a collaboration between Microsoft Make Code Editor and a, a Node.js script that you run on your computer. He has great directions for setting it up. Um, it works just like a charm. And so uh, here are the two sketch things on how to set this up. So you create a little radio group for your micro bits. Uh, because you don't want them to interfere with other ones uh, or be interfered with and uh, then this one gets plugged into your computer so uh, when it receives a message uh, it prints the received string to your serial port on your computer uh, oh yeah so this is the controller code that goes in the cube when you push button A it plays the previous song okay yeah um, when you push the other button, it plays the next song. Well, we're not cooperating now. Why aren't we cooperating? I think uh, maybe my JavaScript file stopped. Let's restart the script. Oh no. All right, so anyway, yeah. First, the overview, and then we'll do some troubleshooting, okay? So, um, first off, we've got this, uh, this sketch, which goes in the cube. You set your radio group to 55 on both of them. Uh, when button A is pressed, you um, send the string previous to the radio group. And also on the micro bits display, you show the west arrow. Okay, so this is the one that gets hooked up to the computer. This is the one uh, that you're controlling with. And so when I shake this or do a left or right arrow or whatever, it shows that it's processing that information. Uh, and that also means that it is receiving a string from this one, which is previous, next, or shuffle. Um, let's go back to that. Yeah. Uh, as you can see. Doo -doo -doo. I've also updated this, though, with my own customization. Since it's on a companion cube, I thought it would be cool to make it show this tiny heart, uh, which is just known as, I think, small heart. Yeah, this icon. And um, also I made it go back to that icon each time after uh, you send a command. So rather than just staying on the previous commands icon, so like this will keep showing west until you push a different command, right? Uh, instead, this guy goes back to showing the little heart after half a second. That does mean that you have about a half second debounce. You can't push the uh, button again and expect a response within half a second, which, you know, if you're really intensely not into an album or whatever, that's going to give you a hard time, but, you know, otherwise you're going to be just fine. Um, the other thing that I noticed is that you need to change the port in the code depending on what you have. This is my node terminal, and it's transparent, so you can see my face behind it. <laughs> um, but here is how you figure out what port 
your micro bit is on. I'm gonna run this again because I think it might have changed. No, okay, so my micro bit is on this port. Uh, dev TTY USB modem 14412. Um, I ran this command to figure that out. And that's important because you need to change it in the code up here in this line. Uh, var port new serial port dev TTY USB modem and then this number is what may change between the example code and your own code. So if you don't have that right, then your code isn't going to respond. Uh, and then finally, in order to make this whole thing work, you've got to start the code. So now my port is open. I'm going to uh, push the button. Let's see. There we go. Okay, cool. Oh man, there's a lot of ukulele in this playlist because what I'm doing is using a uh, an open source uh, public domain. That's what it, you call it for music. <laughs> um, I'm using a public domain playlist. Stop giving me vocals. It's terrible. Yeah, public domain playlist on Spotify so that I don't violate any rules. Um, and have to take this video down. But yeah, so I've got this hooked up to a little battery inside here, and it fits just perfectly inside the companion cube planter, which is very exciting. Uh, and you can also like shake it to shuffle. Public domain music. That's wonderful. Oldville sketch fishing by Ada Jones. An evening call in Jayville, Texas. I have no idea. Okay, well, we just heard that one. Um, okay, your shuffle seems a little broken, Spotify, but there we go. Uh, what I need to do next is, like, add a, a start and stop button on here. Uh, what I wanted to share with you was an awesome playlist that I have for hacking on robots, which I'll uh, post underneath this video because you deserve the playlist. Even if I can't play it in the video because of copyright things, uh, you deserve this playlist. Oh. Stop. <laughs> oh, I must have shaken it or something. Anyway, as you can see, it's a little bit sensitive. Um, but it's a great project, and I've noted the uh, command that you need to find the port in a comment underneath Sam's project. So you'll be able to do the whole thing from start to finish. Uh, it's great for Halloween, it's great for the portal 10 year anniversary, it's great for 3D printing, it's great for microbits, it's great for everybody. Uh, so have a very happy Throwback Thursday and I hope you have as much fun building this project as I did. It took about an hour figuring out everything including like installing this stuff for Node, which is really not hard. Uh, this does only run on Macs because it requires Apple Script, but if you're a smart cookie, you can probably figure it out for Windows and Linux, too. Uh, and I'd love to see that uh, because I really want to put it on Raspberry Pi. <laughs> but, um, yeah, home media server with a companion cube controller. Can you imagine? It sounds amazing. Uh, in the meantime, yeah, it takes about an hour for, from start to finish. Um, I restarted my computer and it was still on the same port. But if your JavaScript app is just quitting, uh, as soon as it starts, check your port and make sure that's working. Uh, and yeah, just have fun. Show us what else you build. And I'm going to keep this around the office because I'm very excited about it. There's a couple other controls that you can uh, leverage in order to make this. Like if I wanted to add start and stop controls, I can do like compass headings or accelerometer readings or whatever. Um, and there's also like a dual button press. So uh, we've actually got a number of more micro bit tutorials coming up from my colleagues, uh, Monica and Katie. And so stay tuned for those. Also stay tuned for more Halloween projects. We should have one more coming up for you tomorrow. Uh, and maybe Monday if you're lucky. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Happy Halloween. Happy Throwback Thursday. Stay tuned and have fun.